She knew Jesus had raised the dead before, but it had always been soon after the person's death. No one had ever raised a dead man four days after death. Oh, how Peter believed. Oh, how he loved this rabbi from Nazareth. But when the moment of testing came, his belief and love weren't enough to stand in the face of his fear. Jesus told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves of bread and the few dried sardines in his hands and thanked God for them. My goal was to tell the backstory and to bring out the heart and the emotion behind the people that Jesus met as he was here on earth. The healer looked about and found there was no one left to heal. He surveyed the crowd before him for a moment and then turned to his friends. I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. The people that Jesus met and the people that I do my best to represent as well as I can in arms open wide are so significant to us today because they're like us. Their longings are so much the same as our longings today. How could Jesus forgive him when he couldn't even forgive himself? Shaking his head to clear away the memories, he rose to pull the net from the water. It broke the surface just as the first rays of sunrise began to paint the edge of the horizon in gold, pink, and red. The net was empty, much like Peter's broken heart. Every time we stop and we're able to sink down into their sandals and into the moment they were living, we find that there's a little bit of us that is in them. Jesus turned to her and said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Martha paused for a moment and then motioned to some men nearby to move the stone. Instinctively, the crowd protectively lifted the sleeves of their robes to cover their noses and mouths. Jesus looked to heaven and prayed. I believe that unless we really care about the people that Jesus was interacting with, it's hard to truly absorb the impact of his uh, ministry into their lives. Friends, a voice called out, breaking the silence of the cool gray shadows of the beach. Haven't you any fish? No. Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some, he called back. Peter's heart beat a little faster. Could it be? The culture in which Jesus was born and he lived, the story is always what matters. They were less focused on pure knowledge, which tends to be our Western approach to scripture and our Western approach to learning. But the story really mattered to them because the story not only taught, but that it touched the heart and it opens up the heart. And I think that is just absolutely true that God is very concerned that we learn His truth, but He's also concerned that His truth sinks down and it meets the places in our heart and it regenerates our hearts and it heals our hearts. Seven small loaves, a few sardines, yet somehow the pieces kept coming until everyone was satisfied.